Want to make a big impression with your own 3D animated DJ name? In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to create your own eye-catching DJ name using Panzoid, which is a powerful and free online editor. Hi there, welcome to Young Simba Empire, your one-stop shop for DJ tutorials. Now let's get started with turning your DJ name into a work of art. You can access the Panzoid editor directly online at panzoid.com, so there's no need to install any software. Just an internet connection and a browser will do the trick. Panzoid has four generations of editors, but for this tutorial, we'll be using Gen 2. It's the most popular version because of its huge library of templates and an easy-to-use interface. To open the Gen 2 editor, head to the app section at the top of the Panzoid webpage and click on Clipmaker 2. This will open up the editing page and we'll get started from there. The first thing you'll need to do when you open the editor is load the template that I've provided in the description. This template is already pre-designed, so what I'll show you is how to customize it to fit your DJ name or any name you want. To load the template, just go to the project section on the left side of the screen. Once you're there, click on the load project button. Now select the template file you downloaded from the description. Once you've got the template loaded, you'll be ready to jump into the editing process. The editing interface might look a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry, I'll guide you through it, step by step. In the center of the screen, you'll see the edit area. This is where you'll make most of your changes and you can also preview your work. The default view is 3D mode, which gives you a three-dimensional perspective, ideal for making edits. And then we have 2D mode, which you can switch to by clicking the eye icon next to the play button. This mode shows you how your video will look when exported. Now let's take a look at the editing options on the left-hand side of the screen. There's a navigation bar with several tools, so let's walk through them quickly, starting with basics. From this option, you can adjust the video resolution. Then there is scene. This is used to set the background environment, but we won't be needing it for this template. What we will use, though, is objects. This is where you'll find elements like text, shapes, and images that you can add to your edit. We'll come back to this in just a moment. The FX section is where you can add visual effects, and camera is for adjusting the position and movement of the video, but we won't be changing any of them today. And finally, we have audio and download, which are pretty self-explanatory. Now that you're familiar with the editing options, let's look into the Objects tab. When you open the Objects tab, you might see a long list of items, and it can seem a bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's actually pretty easy to understand. First, I recommend expanding each group by clicking on the drop-down arrow next to them. Do this for every group, this way you have a clear display of everything. Now note that the elements in the Objects tab usually start with three words, group, shape, or text. For what we're doing today, we'll mostly focus on the text elements, since that's what we'll be replacing. Before we jump into the editing though, make sure to save your project regularly by clicking the Save Project button. This will give you peace of mind knowing that you can always reload your work if something goes wrong, or if you accidentally close the editor. Now let's get into replacing the text. The text elements you see in the template are placeholders, and you'll need to replace them with your DJ name. First, you'll need to find the text element you want to change. You can easily do this by clicking on any piece of text, and it'll be highlighted on the editing screen. You'll also see an edit box appear on the left. This is where you'll replace the existing text with your own. There are six text elements in this template, so it's helpful to write them down and pick which ones you want to replace. For example, if your DJ name is something like DJ Area, 
There's no need to change the word DJ. So we'll start editing from the first letter that needs replacing, the letter S. Then I'll replace the letter I with the letter R. One thing to keep in mind is that sometimes a letter may appear twice, like the letter I. This happens because certain letters have two layers, so make sure to replace both layers with the same letter. Now here's the first issue you might run into. After typing your full name, you might find an extra letter left over. If that happens, just click on the text element for that letter, then click on the X symbol to delete it. On the flip side, you might have the opposite problem. Your DJ name could be too long to fit. I'll show you how to handle that next. If your name is longer than seven letters, you can easily add more letters to the existing text elements. Let's take the name DJ Bangers as an example. It has nine letters, but we only have six text elements. What you can do here is split the letters and divide them across the available text elements. Once you've replaced the letters, you'll probably notice that they're crammed together. So now we have to space them out. Before we start adjusting the letters, make sure your editing screen is set to 3D mode. Then use the timeline bar at the bottom to find a frame where all the letters are lined up and visible. To space the letters out, you'll use the editing screen in the center. Start by selecting the letter you want to adjust. Once you've clicked on a letter, you'll see three arrows appear, and each one controls a different direction. The green arrow lets you move the letter up or down. The red arrow moves it left or right, and the blue arrow moves it forward or backwards. To adjust the spacing between the letters, just drag the red arrow and move the letter horizontally until you get the right spacing. A few moments later. In order to get a more precise approach, you can also adjust the spacing using the position settings. The first box represents sideway movements, the second represents up and down movements, and the third represents forward and backwards movements. By changing the numbers on the first box, you'll be able to move that specific letter left or right. If you don't like the purple or silver colors, you can change them from the appearance settings under the color option. Now that you've finished customizing your DJ name, it's time to export your video. You can do so from the download option on the navigation bar. All you have to do is select the desired format for your video, click on render, and once it's done, click on download to save the exported video to your computer. Also, don't forget to save your project before exporting in case you need to make further edits. Now that your custom DJ name video is ready, 
Let's look at how to add it to your virtual DJ mixes. There are two main methods you can use. Method 1 involves using a video editor, and Method 2 uses Virtual DJ directly. Both methods give different results. Using a video editor lets you create a more polished and transparent overlay, but it involves pre-recording your video mix first. Virtual DJ, on the other hand, is quicker and can be done in real time, but may have limitations when it comes to transparency. Let's start with Method 1. If you're already familiar with green screen videos, you'll likely know what to do, but if you're not, I'll walk you through it. Let's start by getting a video editor. For this tutorial, I'll be using CapCut, a free editor that works both online and offline. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. Once you open CapCut, we'll start by importing both your DJ Mix video and your DJ Name video onto the video editor. You can do this by dragging and dropping the videos onto this workspace. Next, we'll arrange the videos. Place the DJ Mix video in the editing timeline first, then drag your DJ Name video on top of it, creating a new layer. Now let's remove the green screen. To do this, we'll be using the chroma key option. So start by selecting the DJ Name video layer then go to the video options and choose cut out. In some versions of the software, the chroma key will be under remove background. Now check the chroma key option and you'll see a color picker tool, which you should use to select the green area on the video. You can then adjust the intensity until all the green is removed, leaving just your DJ name. To change the position of the name, just click and drag the DJ name video to move it around on the main screen, positioning it exactly where you want it to appear. If you'd like your DJ name to show up multiple times during the video, just right-click on the DJ name video and select copy, and then paste the copies wherever you want on the timeline. Once you're happy with how everything looks, click the export icon at the top, set everything up including the resolution, and then export it. Now let's move on to method two, which is adding your DJ name video directly from Virtual DJ as a sample. This method is simpler, but keep in mind that the transparency effect we got from using the editor won't carry over. Instead, we will place a new background behind the DJ name. To get started, you can use the same trick as before with the green screen, but this time you'll add a custom image or video clip behind your DJ name. If you want to use a cool background video, I've left some options in the description below. Alternatively, you can place your DJ logo. First, you'll want to load your background image or video into the editing timeline, then place your green screen DJ name video on the layer above it. Just like before, we'll need to remove the green screen from the DJ name video, so go ahead and access the chroma key setting, which is under the cutout option. But as I mentioned earlier, in some software versions, it will be under remove background. Now, click on the green area to select it, then finally adjust the intensity until all the green is gone. After making sure the DJ name is positioned where you want it in your video, and once everything looks good, click the export icon at the top and save your video sample. Once your video is exported, it's time to add it to Virtual DJ as a sample. To do this, just open Virtual DJ and find the video you just exported. Head to the bottom right corner of the screen and click on the sample tab. From there, simply drag and drop your video into whichever sample bank you want to use. Now whenever you're ready, you can activate the sample, and your DJ name will appear in your video mix. Cool, man,